Hey guys, this is a Battle Fury 3 tutorial on jets and how to fly them or control them. This is uh, Wake Island on the US side, which you get a F-35 as the choice of jet to fly. You're going to just want to deploy in. As you can see, you start off in the cockpit, but there's another view that is from a couple of feet back from the jet. I'll put it in first person for the effect. You just want to press forward. You can press shift as well if you want a bit extra speed. And when you're flying, you will see in a second, where am I? Right that way. That when you're level, pressing A, D, isn't very good for turning. You can't get a nice turn circle. So what you want to do is you want to tilt your jet with whatever controller is on what platform you're on and then you want to pull back on the same control like that and that is the easiest way to turn uh, pushing forward on the mouse will push it down and pulling back will pull it back up like that shift is a uh, speed boost you can press S to slow down and that will tighten the turning circle of your jet if you press it while turning it slows down the speed When you're uh, dogfighting with other jets, you want to be able to get right behind them. That's the aim. And just follow them until they start flying straight, and then you can shoot them. Whoa, what happened there? That was weird. Let's see if we can take off again. Pull up! Pull up! Okay, my jet is slightly broken, but never mind, so let's just continue. The aim is to get behind the, another jet and shoot it with your machine gun. If you, if both jets are turning, then you don't really want to try and shoot, as it can be pretty hard to hit them while turning. After you've shot down a few jets, you unlock the guided missile, which has a wider uh, crosshairs. Once you have the, oh, it's heat seekers actually. Sorry. Once you get a person in the same. Oh, I think I've actually got a bit target practice. There we go. As you can see there, there's another jet. So you want to get pretty close to them and you'll start locking on like that. Once it's locked on, if you want to wait a few seconds to see if they'll pull the uh, their infrared flares, but if they do, don't, just go ahead, fire both missiles. Just see if it hits. There we go, that's a kill. You can see you got 250 points just for one kill. So it's fairly easy to rank up jets. I've unlocked everything for them so far. And if you're attacking vehicles on the ground, you want to fly away from them first and get nice and high, holding shift so you can get up to high altitude faster. And then a tight turn by holding S and pulling backwards. And then you just want to line them up and shoot them down like that. Just aim at wherever they are and spray them down. I'll just sh quickly show you how you would take down a jet while using the machine gun, which is the only weapon you have at the start. You try and locate them, as I have then you just want to fly behind them, like so, until you get a fairly good shot on them. As you can see he's not flying straight, so I'm just going to wait until he does. Get a wee bit closer. See if I can hit him. Nope, oh, he's turning away. Let's just keep following. Try and keep him in your sights. It starts flying fairly straight. Hit him a few times now, started smoking. And there we go, that's the kill. As you can see it was a lot faster with the heat seekers. 
but it's still perfectly possible when using the machine gun. Well, if there's anything else you want me to put a tutorial on, leave a comment and I'll see if I can get it done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. One more thing I thought I'd add is that on these jets, these are the only jets you can do it with when it's got a single rocket at the back. If you hold uh, S long enough until you go slow, then the rocket will turn and you can start hovering. It's a pretty cool feature of these jets. You can make it pretty easy if you want to try and shoot someone while hovering, but you are a pretty easy target. I also forgot to mention that while flying, if another person is shooting at you, after a while you've unlocked the infrared flares, which when fired, look like that. Sort of uh, rockets shooting away, and that's to distract guided missiles if someone's locked into you. But you don't want to fire it until there's a high pitched beeping noise, as that signifies when the enemy has fired their rockets. You don't want to shoot it at them while they're while they are um, still locking onto you. Anyway, thanks for watching.